I have a fragrance that I've wanted to review for a very long time, and I finally got it. It is Tobacco Honey by Guerlain Paris. And this fragrance is something else. Now, I started hearing about it a few months ago when I started seeing the ads for this, which I know are quite simple compared to a lot of fragrance ads, but it's because this particular brand doesn't have to show off quite like others because their fragrances speak for themselves. Now, I was lucky enough to be in Paris and pick this up, and when I went to Galerie Lafayette to pick it up, the person I was speaking to, she was like, yeah, it's really, it's popular, it's really good for a reason. And I kept smelling it. I kept spraying it on a tester strip and smelling it. And she's like, no, no, no. <laughs> Spray it on your arm. And she was right. It smells totally different than on a tester strip. But I will tell you, I have worn this quite a bit at this point. You can't tell because there's so much in this bottle. But I love it. This is probably one of my top fragrances ever. And they... Also, there's a nice little bee kind of ingrained into the glass on the back. It's very simple, kind of understated, but for a reason. So let me spray this, show you the atomizer, and talk to you a little bit about what it smells like. So the atomizer is good. One thing I will say is it is wide reaching. So it doesn't just squirt out directly. It squirts out like this. So it's got a really good atomizer and it's going to cover a lot of space there. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Two sprays on a tester strip. This is strong. It's potent, but in a good way. When I wear this, I wear generally a squirt here, a squirt here. Maybe if I'm really wanting to be smelled, a squirt on my neck. But that's kind of pushing it with this fragrance. Oh my goodness. It's so good. This is phenomenal. So I will tell you, if you've ever smelled Tuxedo by Yves Saint Laurent, one of my favorite formal fragrances, this is like Tuxedo but a step up, a step above. I think, honestly, this is way better than Tuxedo is. I love Tuxedo, but it, there's just something kind of lacking there after it dries. It, it becomes boring. This is not boring. And I put it kind of in the same scent family as Tuxedo because it is formal. You could wear this every day, but it is a very formal scent in my opinion, but not formal as in like um, a wedding or something. You could wear it to a wedding. This is formal as in like setting back in an armchair and being dressed up in like a fancy English castle or something. I know that sounds insane, but those are the types of images that this brings forth. So it does have the tobacco notes, which I love any type of tobacco fragrance personally. I think they just smell amazing. Tobacco Vanille by Tom Ford is phenomenal, one of my all-time favorites. In fact, I was talking to the Tom Ford uh, salespeople when I was at Gallery Lafayette and we were trying other fragrances and they were they were like you might like this and this and this once they found out that tobacco vanille is one of my favorites they were like well that's probably we're not going to be able to get anything quite like that for you they were letting me smell all of these different tom ford fragrances and when i told them that's the type of fragrance family that i truly love they were like well that's the best in that fragrance family that we have and so I appreciated that they weren't trying to just push me into another fragrance. But anyways, that was that was the Tom Ford of people. When I got to Guerlain, oh my goodness. There was so much to choose from, but this one stood out, obviously because it's the one that is on display, the one they're really pushing right now. But for a reason, the tobacco notes come in heavy, but the dry down is where the honey comes in, the sweetness. So you get a really good tobacco scent here, but you also get the sweetness, and you get a lot of those notes that tuxedo Yves Saint Laurent tuxedo also has but one thing about tuxedo is the dry down for me is worse than the opening scents I love the opening scent but the dry down is almost like I said it's boring there's not a lot of interest the honey scent on this added to the tobacco it's unlike anything I've smelled up to this point because it's a natural honey it's not synthetic at all nothing about this scent smells synthetic. Honestly, this is, and I'm telling you the truth here, it's what it smells like when you make a really strong, good cup of hot black tea, like English breakfast tea, and you put honey, just gobs of honey in it. It, oh my goodness, it's so good. I wish that I could let you smell this through the camera, but if you're on the fence about it, definitely just 
pick it up. You will not regret it, especially going into this knowing that it is a more formal scent, but it's a scent, if it's if you're even interested in Yves Saint Laurent Tuxedo, this is kind of in that family of scents for me. I would put it right up there with Tuxedo. I'd actually put it a little bit above Tuxedo because I think this one's more interesting of a scent, has a little bit more going on. Also, you're gonna smell this one or two sprays and you're going to smell this. It's going to stay on your skin. If you spray this on clothes, it's going to stay on your clothes. Like it is a strong scent, but it's not overpowering. It's not overbearing. That's what I love about it. You can wear this and when you go around someone, they'll say, something smells good. You smell really nice. They're not going to say, oh my gosh, what is that? Did you bathe in that fragrance? <laughs> no, no. This is one that you're going to get compliments on. You have to because it is such a good fragrance. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and you love fragrance reviews. Let me know what you'd like to see reviewed next in the comments and I'll see you guys later.